now I'm gonna take you into a position uh, called three. It's free by Gil Price. And so we'll be running the 25th of next month. here. Okay. Maybe I should get a little closer in case I can't hear you. And uh, this piece is called Three Sisters. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it's not. It's uh, the girl called next The Girl Next Door. And uh, when I saw these two trees, this is actually on the Lake Central shoreline in Barrie. Um, they seem to sort of have this weird relationship. And uh, so it kind of reminded me of a next door neighbor I had when I was young. I uh, really looked up to her. And um, so I always wanted to play with her. She was a little bit older, she was prettier, you know, she was already into boys, and um, and she got, she was allowed to play with Barbies, which was really cool. I wasn't allowed to play with Barbies. So anyway, I always wanted to play with this girl, and uh, there was a giant willow tree that was in between our, that divided our two backyards and the way I would get her attention because I was too shy to actually go ask her to play because you know she was older and wiser and everything I would go and sit on the swing that hung from the willow tree and so that she could see me and so uh, I would always go and sit on that willow tree and sit on the swing and try and get her attention she was uh, she was an only child so um, anyway often she would actually come out and play with me and um, Anyway, she was really nice. She'd come to my birthday parties, even though she was, you know, quite a bit older than me and my friends. And um, but then, you know, something changed between us. It was, I think, I was eight or nine, and I was walking home one day with her, and I was really excited. It was either Easter or Christmas was coming, and uh, just saying how excited I was. And she basically was the one who told me that Santa Claus didn't. And I was just, I, I was, first of all, I was embarrassed in front of her because I didn't know. I was devastated. And then, um, uh, and then I was really angry. I was angry at my parents for lying to me. And so anyway, you know, I didn't go and call on her anymore because I was so embarrassed at what had happened. You know, it really sort of gave her insight into how different we were. And, uh, yes, yeah, so that's kind of the end of our friendship. And so the... You know, this side was the side I admired about her, but the other side was sort of the dark side that, you know, she ruined my innocence and my childhood, and this is me sort of looking up to her, and, and you know, there's a tension there as well, so. Anyway, that was that. Thanks, Thanks Jill. Um, don't forget, you gotta come and see the rest of the exhibition. I'm just gonna give you a brief peek, because I, I want you to uh, come and see the show. I'm not going to show you any details, so you'll have to come out and see it. 